Good evening. Hi, Wendy. Hi, Lorraine. I've got hair in my mouth. I think it's probably Max's. Hi, Tracy. Hi, Sue. Hi, Dee. Hi, Over Sue. Hi, Doreen. Sunny and warm, Middle Tennessee. I'll tell you what, it ain't sunny and warm here. In fact, I am flipping freezing and I've lost my gloves. They're around somewhere. Hi, Karen. Hi, Mark. Hello. Hi, Sandra. Oh, I don't know. Do you, do you, oh, actually, Tracy, um, I was going to say this is going to be a short class because actually I really don't feel too good. But my doctor has now put me on two lots of two tablet, two antibiotics four times a day. Uh, yeah, something like that. So hopefully, hopefully they'll work really soon. I hope so, because I've got a thumpy headache. But we'll see. So what I thought to do, uh, we do tonight is um, get on and I, we'll just cut out the bits tonight because this got a little bit bigger than I anticipated. However, I have something to show you. Oh. Hi, Elaine. You've seen it. Um, oh. I finished the box that these bits go in. Well, I've sort of finished it. I haven't done it perfectly because I haven't finished kind of matting the inside, but you'll get the gist of it. Hi, Rizwana. Hi, Ellie. Um, so, uh, yeah, I've done the box and I've done the insert, another insert to go inside it. So all I've got to do now is finish off the big book that we're going to put in there. So let me show you. This is not a little box. This is a big box. So this is my big Christmas box. And I don't know how much of this you can see because it's a big box and, and not a big screen. So um, it's got a little latch here. And then this is going to be difficult to show you when it's lying down, but it opens up kind of like that. Uh, and then inside, so far, I've got these two inserts, um, which obviously last week we made that one. And then um, this week we're going to have a look at this one, but it's it's quite a bit bigger than I anticipated it would be. Because, uh, you know, sizes is my my strong suit uh so we'll we'll um we'll get that together but we will we'll make the box as well at some point um and then you can keep everything all together so it is coming on it's getting there right so <sighs> this little insert which didn't turn out little at all it's exactly the same size as um as the one that we made last week um but it's an accordion one. So instead of having the three bits, it's got four. So it kind of opens out, if you see what I mean. But you can fold it any way you like. It'll it'll fold pretty much any way. It's, it's entirely up to you. It's a bit of a, I don't know. I don't even know how I folded it there. What have I done? I don't know. I don't think that's right. I think that's right anyway yeah it's an accordion I don't know. it's an accordion book uh, and what i've done with it is because we've got like six spaces plus the back which is flat i've taken the hold on is what i made earlier i have taken uh, to make it consistent i've taken um this design these stack pockets out of this i i i didn't finish that one off. I, I stole them for this book. Um, so the stack pockets that we made for this one, to keep it like kind of consistent, I put them in this one as well. So uh, on the front, what I've done is I've put a little um, pocket and I've, I actually glued these down because I wanted that to be like my cover design. Um, so uh, I, I've just put some um, cutter parts in there and then you open it up and you've got these... Um, oh, photo mats exactly the same as we've got for the stack pockets on the other book so these these stack pocket bits are the same but on this side what you've got is a policy envelope so i've made um little uh pockets not on all of them but i'll show you why in a minute um and then we've got these um little i don't know photo mats or whatever open up this policy envelope and then in here what you've got is uh, a couple of photo mats and these are three by four inch photos i think that i put in there so that fits in there like that and then i've just put these in there just to finish that off then you turn it over again now i haven't put one on here because i didn't want to cover him up so i've just left this blank but obviously it's got the photo mats uh inside inside the pocket there 
And then once again here, same as before, we've got our photo mats in our stack pocket. And then once you get to the back, you open it up that side. And then we've got, again, um, we've got the stack pocket and we've got our uh, little pocket here with um, those inside. Okay, so you, you get the idea. Not too complicated. It just It's just bigger than I anticipated. So what I want to do tonight is cut everything out. Although having said that, we might be better off making the base cutting and putting that together and then next week doing the fancy bits i reckon does that sound does that sound reason? yeah when i'm feeling a bit more like myself i've already put my electric blanket on so the second we're done with class i am going to bed hi kari get in there i've just said i'm now on antibiotics we'll see so, so yes, that's the plan so far. So um, we still need one more book for that box, but I'm going to do a bigger folio. So I will get round to that, but I've got a little bit of time now. So I'll take some pictures of the box, um, but that's, that's coming. Okay, right. Now, cutting out. Okay, so you're going to need a trimmer. I'll tell you what we'll do. We're going to make the base tonight. And then next week, we'll put it all together with the pockets and everything else. OK, so I had earlier on a cutting guide. I don't know where I've put it. Oh, it's here. Do you know what I did? I don't know if I dare tell you this. Right. I just want you to know how poorly I am. Right. Because what I did earlier on was Mark was feeding the cats and I was making a cup of tea. And we've got a kettle in the kitchen that sits on a base. You know, it's like it's a cordless kettle. It sits on a base and it's got like that bit in the middle that sticks up where the electric goes into the kettle to make it work. I just I really shouldn't have done that. Right. When I watch this on Facebook, I'm lagging a little bit behind. So I've just made all those. If you if you watch this with no sound, I'd dread to think what you think I was talking about if you were just watching my hand movements there. But anyway, regardless, I'm digressing. I tell you I'm not well. So anyway, so so yeah, we've got the middle of the kettle that you put the kettle on and it's got that electric thing in the middle where it all works. Well, we've also got these really nice tea and coffee caddies, which have got square wooden top with a knob on. And I thought it would be a really good idea to try and put the kettle on top of the knob on the tea caddy, really. So I'm not well and I need sympathy. Never mind. Shush. OK, right. Let's get going. So that's not the right card. I just tried sorting out my card and I, I haven't sorted it out at all. Is that my right card? I don't know. I don't know. That's the card. That's my best card. That's not card at all. I don't even know what I've got here. Okay, so first of all, I want you to cut four at five by ten inches, but we will cut these down. Hi, Renee. So cut five. No, don't. Cut four at five by ten. One, and keep all these off cuts because they're going to be useful. Two. Four. So that's four at five by ten. Then I want you to cut two at five by eleven. So 
So that's two at five by 11. Then I want you to cut two. Oh, hang on. Let me find some more card, some white card, which might be easier said than done. Mm. Oh, you wouldn't think black card was so different from each other, but it really is. Nope. Near enough. That's my really good black card. Oh. oh, what have I got? How can I have so much black card and yet I've got absolutely zero? Where am I likely to have some? Take your pick of rooms. Oh, that's not big enough. Why can't black be like a standard colour? No, I can't use. No, I won't use it out of principle. It's all I've got left. Right, so I want you to cut two at five and a half by 11. I think. Is that right? Five and a half by 11. I'm only cutting one because I can only find one piece of card. That's going to have to do. It's not the right one, but it's going to have to do. So two at five and a half by 11. Okay. Right, then we need to cut our connectors. So if you grab some of these bits that you cut off earlier, these bits, and I want you to cut them. I want you to cut one, two, three, is it? Yeah, three. Well, it would have helped if I'd written this right, but it should be three, three and a half by... 10 inches i haven't actually written that i've just written three and a half inches should be three and a half by well three three and a oh. it's three and a half by 12 but that doesn't quite make three and a half so whatever you've got left over because it doesn't matter that much by 10 inches three about 10. yeah so what i've done is i've just taken three of these off cuts they're not quite three and a half inches but just cut them down to 10 inches. That will be just fine. It doesn't matter that much because you're not going to see anyway. But if you've got loads of card, three and a half by 10. What's that? Oh, construction tape. Right. OK, so what I want you to do now is I want you to grab your this thing scoreboard and your embossing tool or bone folder or whatever can i just have you noticed how much better i've got at finding stuff lately not really oh ah. well, yeah there you are well because I've, I've i've made myself i've i've, I've got myself a system oh, yeah. so i don't lose stuff don't throw it on the floor yeah, basically put it back where I got it from. It seems to be working. Right. Those first four that we cut, that are five by ten, just pop those to one side. And the next ones that we cut were five by eleven. So what I want you to do is put the eleven inch at the top here, and I want you to score... At half an inch and at ten and a half inches. Okay. 
And I want you to do that on both pieces because we've got two that size. So score on the 11 inch side at half an inch and oh. the 11 inch si side at 10 and a half inches. Okay, right. Then we've got two that are five and a half by 11. So first of all, we're going to score on the five and a half inch side. So that means put the five and a half inch piece at the top and score at half an inch. We're going to turn it around 90 degrees. So we're going to score on the 11 inch side and we're going to score at half an inch and we are going to score at 10 and a half inches. Okay. Right. Same again. We're going to score on the five and a half inch side at half an inch. The other thing you might notice, dear, is that I'm doing this the right order. I have noticed. Just for you. I have noticed. We're going to score on the 11 inch side at half an inch and at 10 and a half inches. Okay. Right. Now, these bits that we've got that are three and a half ish ish. Pop that up to the the top on the three and a half ish inch side okay and i want you to start scoring every quarter of an inch starting at one inch so score at one one and a quarter one and a half one and three quarters two two and a quarter two and a half so here you've got one two three four five six seven score lines and they're all quarter of an inch apart okay so you can see that so that's what we're going to do and we're going to do the same on all three so we're going to score on the short side which is roughly three and a half inches and we're going to start at one inch and we're going to score at one one and a quarter one and a half one and three quarters, two, two and a quarter, two and a half. Yeah. Okay, same on the last one. And we're going to score on the three and whatever bit. One, one, one and a quarter, one and a half, one and three quarters, two two and a quarter two and a half okay yeah. right my back's itchy okay so put your scoreboard away i'm going to put my embossing tool back where it's supposed to go and i'm going to take my scissors out of where they're supposed to be don't know how long this is going to last but we'll we'll do it okay so let's start with the easy bits well, so shush i'm going to take these four bits that we that we um scored at the beginning we've got two um that are just scored uh on two sides and then we've got two that are scored on three sides where the score lines intersect okay so what we're going to do oh, i'm flagging i got let me move. What we're going to do is we are going to kinky mitre. Caught you out there, didn't I? So we are going to snip. No, I know you didn't. Oh, Lorraine did. Lorraine did. She oh. did. Well, Lorraine, Lorraine knows me better than I know myself. So we're going to snip up to where the score lines intersect. And then we're going to uh Turn, turn the scissors a bit up and we're going to snip off. So we're not getting a direct straight across mitre. We've got a bit of a kink to it because that's just the way we roll. We like it a little bit kinky. So moving swiftly on, let's just chop those off. Okay, and now I'm going to fold and burnish. Look, I know where my bow folders are. Wow. I know. I think my wife has been replaced. I know. I, I think it's because I've got a temperature. 
Okay, so I'm going to fault on these score lines. And I'm going to burnish. Okay, and that's the same on both of those. Oh, hold on. Let me just put my scissors away. There we go. I know. Let me just put... No, I, I can't put my bone folder on there. I'm using it. Those are seriously strong antibiotics. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I wonder if that's why I've got an itchy back. Will you have a look at my back? Oh, I want to see if I've got spots. I might be allergic to them. Oh, no. It would be. He says he's finding stuff all part of your illness. Uh, I, well, that's what Mark thinks, yeah. Don't worry, I'll be back to normal next week. Right, let's score on that one. And on this one. Now, do you know what's nice about Thursday? It's the day before the weekend, which is Friday. Oh, yeah. So, if you're not busy this weekend, well, yeah, we're pretty busy this weekend. But the most exciting thing is if you're available on Saturday the 5th of March through to Sunday the 6th of March, there's a lot of crafters who are taking part in a 24-hour blog hop to raise awareness and raise money for people in Ukraine. And Mark and I are taking part. The last stint is an hour on our YouTube channel at two o'clock on Sunday morning which is actually quite exciting I think that's kind of cool yeah. uh, but if you want to have a look at um, keep an eye on uh, my main page which is Cal Summers Workshops I'm allowed to say that um, I'll be putting information uh, on there about what's happening and how you can watch um, but there are some great names taking part for instance um, lovely Belinda who designed Lady Vagabond. She'll be doing an hour's class. And um, we've got uh, Finna Bear, who is also going to be doing um, an hour. And then there's Olga. She's going to be doing an hour. Um, and we're really honoured to be able to take part in this. Really honoured. Um, there's an auction going on at the same time. Uh for items that have been um, donated by uh, people doing um, the blog hop, etc., various other people. Uh, and like I said, if you want to know more, there will be information up on um, my main page. So do keep an eye out. Right. OK. So oh, and we'll have a new little project, which I'll have to do tomorrow. But I'll show you what that is. There might be. There might well be all sorts of things. Righty-ho. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take two of these. These are the ones that we cut that were five by ten. And I'm just going to nip off about an eighth of an inch, okay? Because what I want to do is I want to pop that in there. And I want to make sure that when I put it in, it's not going to be... It's going to stay flat. Because if I show you, here's one I made earlier. Pardon me. If you put, if you don't chop a bit off, you get a bit of a bulge, and we don't want a bulge. So I'm going to chop a little bit off. Okay, so that's nice and flat. And then on the other two that we've got, because these are enclosed on three sides. Akari will be with us because it's nine pm on Saturday. Oh, perfect, Akari, that'll be wonderful. Will you give us a wake up call, please? About yeah. About about one o'clock. Make sure we're up. Wendy reckons she'll be watching at two a.m. That does. I don't. I I don't doubt that for a second. I think actually we're going to have quite a few people watching at two a.m. because you guys never sleep. I've noticed this about you. Apparently, I don't. Know. Well, you're not going to on Saturday. Like the old days. Yeah. 
So let's make sure that one fits in there. Now, this is important that this you can still get that flush. OK, so that needs to be flush. Those two pieces need to be the same. Uh, they need to meet. So. I don't blame you. I might well be. I'm making that promise. No. Okay, right. So you can put your trimmer away because that's it. actually that's all we're going to need it for tonight. So what I'm going to do now is I am going to glue these flaps over the top of these bits that we've already cut out. Okay, so I'm going to put some glue on the inside of that flap. I think I'm heavy breathing. If I'm heavy breathing, everybody, I'm terribly sorry. I'm not being funny. <laughs> Although, you know, I could do with a second career. <laughs> oh, I've got to tell you this. You know that conversation that we had last week about those podcasts that were, and videos that we all like watching, you know, the true crime ones? Well, I'm not going to mention any names, but Facebook realised what we were talking about and actually removed some comments. And as you know, Mark and I have been in here in Crafting Together and it was noticed that some comments have gone missing because facebook tells the admin are. but it doesn't tell you what they are well not not when they're quite as yeah uh and then um, i had to admit to the fact that in this class we talk about interesting stuff, stuff. i've got to be careful what i say now i'm gonna get myself banned but it was quite funny trying to explain so i'm really really sorry but that was us we were having a discussion about serial killers I love this group. I love my Thursday nights. I used to like my Saturday nights. Yeah. Maybe not this week. <laughs> We've got a really busy week. We have. We're going to... Is anybody going to the papercraft show at the uh, Motorcycle Museum in Birmingham on Saturday? Because we, we are. And Claire's going. Because Claire's got stand there. Claire from um, Claire Manning Creative. We haven't got a stand. We're just going to spend money. Well, I haven't what? mentioned that to Mark yet, but, you know. Money. Yeah, I know. So, uh, yeah, so that's Saturday. And then Saturday night, we've got this wonderful blog hop. And then Sunday night, we've got a class. And Monday night, we've got a thing online. And, um, yeah, busy, busy, busy. I hope these antibiotics work. Right, okay, so I'm still gluing these down. If you're really bunged up on feel heady, get some menthol crystals. Oh, I thought you were going to say menthol cigarettes then from the chemist to put into boiling water. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. <sighs> do i don't think it was you got deleted jen <laughs> oh dear. yeah 2 a.m nicole hi jen sorry yes right so what we've got is we've got two that have got holes in like this da, da, da. And we've got two that haven't got holes in, de, 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 like this. So they're enclosed on three sides. Okay, you get the idea. Right, so what we need to do now is put them together. So we've got these connectors here. So what I'm going to do is get the scissors that I put. Oh, hang on. Just let me, just let me put my boner away because I don't need it again. I'm going to grab the scissors. Oh, dear. I think you must be running a temperature. I am running a temperature and my mouth hurts. Keep I know it's good. It's worked for about three days. I'm amazed you haven't noticed. Okay. Do you not like my new setup? I'm, I'm to go to work, unfortunately. Oh yeah. 
So I'm just going to miter the corners here. What I'm doing is I'm snipping off these corners up to where the score lines are, okay? So it doesn't have to be perfect because you're not going to see it. I'm just mitering those corners, okay? Just like that. I'm sure I had something else to tell you. I can't think what it was. You know, if you're a card maker, there's a, a card thing going around, isn't there, with hashtag cards for Ukraine? I like that. So if you're a card maker, there's been a couple in the in the group today. Beautiful cards. So if you can. Do take part. Right, first of all, I'm going to have this one, which is enclosed, okay? It doesn't really matter where you start, but I'm going to start this one. What I'm going to do is I'm going to check it for size. Now, if you've done classes with me before, you must get sick to death of me constantly repeating myself, but it makes me feel better. I listen to you you. <sighs> Uncross your fingers and say that. Thank you. So when I'm putting these together... Yeah, thank you. When I'm putting... Um, when I'm putting, yeah, I know, I've just told him, Kari, he's got to look at my back in a minute because it's pe it's penicillin, which I didn't think I was allergic to. My daughter is. Hmm. Anyway, what were we doing? Oh, yeah, so when I put these together, I tend to always have them the same way. So you can see here, this has got the flaps on it. So I like to have all the flaps the same side up. And then what I'm going to do is I've got this connector and this is the side that I actually um bur uh, no, not burnished uh, what's it is scored on so that's like my valley and then this knobbly bit on the other side I call that my mountain I don't know if that's right that's just what I call it so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop that inside there and I'm going to make sure that it fits which uh, is a tad too long if I'm being really honest let me just see if there's a better fit Yeah, that's not bad. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put some glue on both sides of this connector. So I'm just going to put it up to where that score line is. So let's put some glue on that side and some glue on that side. Thank you, Dee. That's very kind of you. It's like listening to a story. I would say it's like listening to a broken record is what it's like. Okay, so I'm just going to pop that in there up to where that first score line is. Oh, I know Renee. I'm poorly. My northern accent's coming out now. Renee says that uh, she calls it the dented side and the other side is the bumpy side. That sounds that sounds good. I like that the sound of that. Like what I would call that, yeah, I'm, I'm up for that. Or the innie and the outie. No, that's belly buttons. No, I better not, have I? No. Uh, okay, so, um, right, now I'm going to grab... Oh, I've got chocolate on that one. How have I got chocolate on it? I haven't even been eating chocolate. Oh, yes, I did yes, eat did. chocolate. Yes, I did. Okay, right, so uh, now I've got I've got my uh, flappy side, and I'm going to put it in there like that and make sure that fits before I glue it down, which it really doesn't want to. I think it's just me today oh no that fits okay so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to put glue on both sides of this flappy bit wing thing i don't know whatever do you know i had carrot and coriander soup for tea and it was flipping lovely talking about chocolate it was nicer than chocolate Right, so let's pop that in there like that and let's stick it down. Okay, excellent. So now I'm going to do exactly the same with the other side. I you did. So let's start with this one. Let's pop that inside there, make sure it fits, which it does rather nicely because sometimes things just work. Not as often as I'd like, but they do. It 
does sound like it's raining. Right, let's pop that inside there. And let's oh, glue that down. It's pouring down. Yeah, I'll have the bins out. Oh, yeah, you have. Oh, dear. I'm going to my nice warm bed. When you come back up, will you bring me a cup of tea? And my tablets, please, yeah. which are down by the kettle. The kettle is actually on the proper stand and not on the tea bag caddy thing. I'll put it back in the right place. You could bring me a lemon biscuit. One of those, uh, one of those nice ones. Kari knows what I'm talking about. One of those particularly wonderful best ever lemon biscuits that I've ever eaten in my life biscuits. Uh, right. Can I tell him, Kari? Snow. Oh. I'm not jealous or anything, D. Bob, um, yeah, I'm jealous. Actually, I can do with some snow. I'm too hot. <laughs> we had the loveliest surprise this week. Something that, okay, right. Like, I know a lot of you listening tonight are uh, from the US, which is, you're going to find this really weird. But we had an absolutely wonderful delivery, um, which was Girl Scout cookies. Now, rather unexpected. very unexpectedly, very lovelyly, I didn't put any glue on that side of my thing now. I was thinking about biscuits. Um, anyway, we hear about Girl Scout cookies in the UK. We do. But we've never tried it. I didn't really know what it was all about but I, I i thought that you know they might just be very nice quality biscuits but quite plain in my head that was how it was because i didn't know any better but kari sent some quite a few because she knows just knows us too well um and um i have to say oh I don't know what to say. We opened the lemon ones today. And if you haven't had any this year, for goodness sake, go and get the Girl Scout lemon cookies because they are, the, quite frankly, the best biscuits. of it. I shouldn't say biscuits because biscuits is something completely different, isn't it, in America? Uh, yes. Well, yeah, your biscuits. We call biscuits uh, cookies. Uh, they are oh, just amazing. Absolutely absolutely oh, amazing i'm just i'm absolutely blown away i'm blown away by such a thoughtful gift but i'm also blown away by these absolutely amazing amazing biscuits because I, I like chocolate you may have noticed that about me but this lemon one <laughs> out of this world right yeah. okay i'm gonna have to stop a minute mark have you got a tissue Yes, please. Uh, that will do. I don't care really, but I'm gonna. Yeah. Okay. So that is our book, all put together. And unlike ones that I tell you not to, or oh, we haven't had those yet, Renee. I'm looking forward to try. What were the ones that I wanted to? Oh, thank you. The the brownies with the. Uh, Salted caramel. Samoas. Yeah, we had that. What did we have last night? Tagalongs. Yeah, tag oh, yeah, they were nice. They were so, poor car is getting a running commentary when we open a packet. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to fold this and I'm actually folding it on the third score line. So, I've got three. I've basically I've got three quarters of an inch here, okay. So that is going to be my front cover. 
Now I'm going to turn it over and I'm going to fold it back on itself. But I'm going to fold on that third score again, okay? And then I'm going to fold that one back on itself, preferably on the third score line because I'm not concentrating here. Okay, so that goes that goes like that, all right? Dead easy. So you're just kind of doing a, a zigzag, okay? Adventure falls, that's it. Yeah, I'm saving those till last. Yeah, do you know, Lorraine, you can still get lemon puffs. I remember them from being a kid and I got really overexcited before a meeting at work once because I found some and I took them for, for my colleagues and... Uh, yeah. <laughs> Kari, it looks like Doreen's on our wavelength. Yes. We <laughs> yeah, we were having an interesting conversation about, um, what do you call it? Suggested serving sizes. Yes. Anyway, there we go. I'm really sorry. That's all I'm going to do tonight because I'm just, I need to go to bed. I'm so sorry. I am truly pathetic and I do recognise this. Oh, it's obviously man flu. You know, but there we go. Oh, no. So next week what we'll do is we'll finish this off and then hopefully I'll have the bigger book done for us. Um, but we will be making the box as well for the project okay uh, so that will be part of it um but i might get mark to do that with you because he's the box master okay and they they fit in like that and that all fits in our little box like that okay righty ho okay uh we will see you next thursday at 7 30 well. Unless you want to join us sometime over the weekend, um, like night. I said, follow um, do follow my main page to see what's going on when, um, because it starts. Um, is it mid afternoon? I can't remember what time it starts. Brain's dead at the moment. Uh, on Saturday, and it's twenty four hours. Right. Okay, guys. Thank you so much for putting up with us tonight. I'm sorry I've not quite been with it. Um, and I'm going to go get Mark to check my back now and make sure that I haven't come out in a horrible rush. Aren't you, dear? Apparently. So have a wonderful weekend, and we will see you really, really soon. Lots of love. Bye. Bye.